Hello everyone, and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. Today we will be doing problem number 21 from the 2019 AMC 10B. This problem reads, Deborah, Deborah flips a fair coin repeatedly, keeping track of how many heads and how many tails she has seen in total. Interestingly, gets either two heads in a row, or two tails in a row, at which point she stops flipping. What is the probability that she gets two heads in a row, but she sees a second tail before she sees a second head? So, um... If you haven't noticed by already, uh, this problem is basically an infinite geometric series problem because usually when you see coin problems, they're usually going to be um, infinite series because you're basically going to have to do something repeatedly until you get a final solution. And from there, you can just solve the problem by creating an infinite series or and solving for that series. So let's just try to simulate how Deborah's move will go. If she um, Let's just say the game ends early, and she only gets two heads as her first two rows. And now, well, her game ends and she hasn't seen any tails, so she can't really do anything. Now let's see. Now let's say that she rolls three times. Well, the first roll cannot be a head because if the second roll is also a head, then it won't work. So the first roll has to be a tail. The second roll has to be a head, and the third roll has to be a head. If she ends in three turns. And she's only seen one tail here, so this won't work either. If we go H, T, H, H, this won't work because you see the second head before you see the second tail. But if you go T, H, T, H, H, in five rolls, then you see two heads before you see two, uh, you see two tails before you see two heads, and you roll two heads consecutively before two tails, which is what she wants. So essentially, we want, we can see from this that we want a sequence of the form T H T H T H H, right? Because if she finishes in these many moves, the last two always have to be two, two consecutive heads, and before that, none of these other rolls have to be two consecutive heads or two consecutive tails. Because if that were true, then she would have to stop the game. So they. Ha because of this condition, it has to be an alternating sequence, and in addition, the sequence has to become uh, the sequence has to begin with the tails, because if it begins with the heads, then she's gonna go H T, H T, and she's going to see her second head before her second tail. So we don't want that, and we want it to be T H T H, because that way, she uh, she can see the second tail before the second head. So with this in mind, we can basically construct an infinite geometric series. Let's just say that this has, um, for first of all, this has to be an odd number of moves in this beginning sequence. Because she starts at t and she ends at t. So let's just call that 2k plus 1 over here. And then the hh over here has to be, um, two other moves. And in addition, she has to have at least three moves over here. Because if she just do, does one move, then that's only one tail. And then she cannot see two tails. So basically, you have 2k plus 3 moves in total, and k has to be greater than or equal to 1. And now, notice that if we set the amount of moves we want Deborah to roll, that means the last two have to be heads, and then everything else is, as explained earlier, determined uniquely by this k. So, we just want to sum. So because of this, each of these has a probability of 1 half of happening, So and there are 2k plus 3 moves. So the probability of you ending in this is just 1 half to the 2k plus 3. And since this goes from k equals 1 to infinity, we can just sum this from k equals 1 to infinity. And this is obviously equal to a geometric series, which is equal to 1 half to the 5th, plus 1 half to the 7th, plus 1 half to the 9th, and so on. And we see that our first term is equal to 1 half to the 5th. And our common ratio is 1 fourth, so the sum of the series is equal to 1 half to the fifth over 1 minus 1 fourth, which is equal to 1 over 32, over 3 fourths. Uh, this is equal to 1 over 24. So 1 over 24 is our answer. Going back to our answer choices, we see that this corresponds to answer choice B. So we can mark that, move on, and we are done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends and subscribe and leave a like. And if you want us to cover anything else, please leave down a comment below and we will cover it. Thank you.